Okay, in this video, we're going to do question number four, and that is the cost of discount points and how to calculate the cost of the discount points. All right, hey folks, welcome back, welcome back. And I'll tell you what, we're going to do question number four on your practice math practice exam that's on our website, www.climberrealestateschool.com. Make sure you check it out. And uh, this will be under the resources. So we have a question here. Number four says, a buyer is purchasing a home for $200,000. She applies for an 80% LTV well, loan, loan to value is 80%. Uh, her bank is going to charge her three discount points. And then the question says, how much money will she pay her bank at closing for this loan? So this isn't really a tough question. You just got to kind of break it down. I've written everything out. And again, make sure that you, uh, you write down everything that they give you and what are they asking for. And that'll help you with uh, keeping the, uh, everything in line. So purchase price is $200,000. A couple things to know. Number one, what they're really asking is what, what are the cost of these points? What are they going to be paying up front for these points? So a couple things to remember is one point I'm going to put this down here. One point equals one percent. And that's an important thing to remember. One point is one percent. Because they gave us three points, three discount points. Okay? All right, so first thing we got to do, we're going to calculate this based on the loan amount. So the loan amount, 200,000 times 0 0.80, that comes out, the loan is going to be $160,000. So that's our loan amount. Now we need to know that because that's what this is going to be based on. So we have a loan of 160000 And folks, if one point is 1%, how many would three points be? That's right, 3%. So we're going to take that 160 and we're going to multiply that times 0.03. Because that is how you write 3%. Remember, if you're gonna, you want to turn this into a decimal, you got 3, and you move the decimal point over two spots, right like that, and you got 0.03. So 160,000 times 0.03 comes out to $4,800. So $4,800 is what she will pay at closing for those points. So that's a... Uh, uh, co uh, cost of the points, that's how that question looks. Make sure, again, that you write that down um, as, you're, as you're giving you this information. Make sure you get the loan amount. Do not use the purchase price. Chances are they'll throw that in there if you multiply the purchase price times discount points. It's probably in the question or in the answers, which I know it is because this is all about distracting you. So make sure you get the loan amount times the points. Each point, 1%, so 3 points, 3%. All right, it's that easy, folks. Again, don't let this math scare you. You can figure these things out. Listen, folks, make sure you, you like this video and you subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video.